let's get started working on the skill unit rates. On a road trip, Ethan and his friends see 48 cities over six days. How many cities will Ethan and his friends see in five days? Solve using unit rates. So let's talk about this word, unit rates. A unit is usually referring to one of something. Right now, we have a rate of 48 cities in six days. We're going to write that as a fraction. 48 cities in six days. The unit rate would be to figure out how many cities can Ethan and his friends see in just one day. And then we can use the information to figure out how many he will see in five days. So in order to figure out how many cities he will see in one day, we're going to divide 48 by 6. 48 divided by 6 is 8. So that means that Ethan can see 8 cities in one day. So now that we know that information, we know 8 cities per day. We can then multiply that by how many days we're trying to find. So we're going to do 8 times 5 to figure out how many cities he can say see in 5 days, which equals 40. So to recap, we used the rate that we were given, the 48 cities in 6 days, to figure out how many he would see in one day. That was finding the unit rate. And then we used that information and multiplied it by the amount that we wanted to find. So he can see 40 cities. Caden's office recycled a total of 27 kilograms of paper over three weeks. After how many weeks will Caden's office recycle 18 kilograms of paper? Solve using unit rates. Well, first, let's figure out how many kilograms he will do in one week. So we'll say 27 kilograms divided by three weeks. This will give us how many in one week. 27 divided by three is nine. So we know that Caden recycles nine kilograms every single week. But we want to know how many weeks it will take to get to 18. So we're trying to figure out 9 times what equals 18. That number that we need, 9 times what, is a 2. 9 times 2 will give us 18. That means it'll take 2 weeks to recycle 18 kilograms. Julia's office recycled a total of 20 kilograms of paper over four weeks. After how many weeks will Julia's office recycle 10 kilograms of paper? We're gonna do 20 kilograms over four weeks, which gives us five kilograms every one week. We want to know how many weeks it will take to get to 10 kilograms. So that means I need to do 5 kilograms times something to get to the desired 10 kilograms. 5 times what equals 10? Well, 5 times 2 will equal 10. So it'll take 2 weeks. A coffee shop goes through 32 coffee cups every four hours. How many hours will it take the coffee shop to use 48 cups? Solve using unit rates. We've got 32 coffee cups every four hours. Means that the coffee shop uses eight cups every one hour. 
we want to know how many hours it takes to get to 48. 8 times something needs to equal 48. That number is 6. 8 times 6 equals 48. So it will take 6 hours. Michaela's horse gained 40 pounds over a 10-week period. If the horse keeps growing at the same rate, how much rate weight will a horse gain over a four-week period? So let's figure out how much it gains per week or per, like, the unit of one. 40 pounds divided by 10 is equal to four pounds per one week. So that means we need to multiply those four pounds times four weeks to figure out how much it will gain in that four-week period. That is equal to 16. A landscaper uses 24 yards of sod over three days during the summer. After five days, how many yards of sod will the landscaper use? Solve using unit rates. 24 yards over, yards over three days. By dividing that, we can figure out how many yards he uses per one day. So now we know it's eight yards per one day. So if he uses eight every single day, we need to multiply eight times five to figure out how many it is after five days. So he will use 40 yards of sod every on the fifth day. Jack drinks 16 cups of coffee over two weeks. How many cups of coffee will Jack drink in five weeks? Solve using unit rates. 16 cups over two weeks means that he drinks eight cups every single one week. So if you want to know after five weeks, we need to do those eight cups times the five weeks to figure out that it is 40 cups in five weeks. On a road trip, a hockey team plays 40 games every 10 weeks. After three weeks on the road, how many games will the hockey team play? Solve using unit rates. So let's figure out how many games do they play every week. 40 games every 10 weeks will equal four games per one week because 40 divided by 10 is four. And then we're going to multiply those four games per week times three. Four games times three weeks will equal 12 games in those three weeks. In the spring, a sunflower grows 21 inches over three weeks. If the sunflower continues to grow at the same rate, how many weeks will it take the sunflower to grow to 35 inches? So let's say 21 inches over three weeks equals seven inches per one week. If we want to know how many it takes to get to 35 inches, we need to say seven inches times how many weeks does it take to get to 35? So, is it seven times three? Because that's our first option. Well, seven times three is 21. That's not 35. Seven times six is 42. That doesn't work. Seven times five is 35. There's the number we want. Let's check the last one just to be sure. Seven times seven is 49. So the correct answer would be five weeks.
At a clothing store, it takes six hours of work to make 48 dresses. How many hours of work will it take to make 24 dresses? Solve using unit rates. 48 dresses over six hours tells us that we can make eight dresses in one hour because 48 divided by six is eight. How long will it then take us to make 24? So eight times something needs to equal 24. Is it eight times three, eight times six, eight times zero, or eight times five? Eight times three is equal to 24. So that is the correct answer.